Namaste and welcome to this gentle yoga class. We're going to be using props. If you have them at home, please grab them now. You can pause the video and get what you need. I'm suggesting two blocks, one strap and one blanket, as well as the yoga mat. And set up close to a wall, okay? So when you have your props, then you can start the video again. And here we're going to begin standing tall in mountain pose. Have your feet hip distance apart and really anchor down through the feet, spreading your toes wide, tone in the low belly, lengthen the top of your head towards the ceiling and turn your palms to face forward, letting the shoulder heads roll back and down away from ears. Just tuning into your breath. Observing air coming in and out of the nose. And next time you inhale, circle the arms and reach them as high up as you can without any pain in the shoulders. And on the exhale, turn your palms out and lower the arms back down by the waist. Inhale, follow your breath, expanding through the ribcage, lifting the arms up. And out on the exhale, the arms lower down by the waist again. Do it a few more times, following your own breath. Inhaling to lift the arms by the head. And exhaling to lower the arms by the body. Every time you breathe in, know that you are breathing in more vitality, more prana. And every time you breathe out, you are breathing out toxins and impurities. So each inhalation is nourishing. And each exhalation is cleansing and detoxing for the system. Just a few more like this. Connecting to the breath. Letting the breath um, be the guide for your movement. So the movement lasts as long as the breath lasts. Next time you lower your arms down by the body, just keep your arms down and circle the shoulders up, back and down a few times. Free up the shoulder girdle. This is like lubricating the shoulder joints as we move the synovial fluid and the bursa around. And then we pause again with the palms forward, encouraging the chest to stay very open. The shoulder blades down the back, draw the low belly in. And now we're going to spread the toes nice and wide. And on the inhale, lift your heels off the floor. Exhale, lower the heels back down. Again, inhale, come up onto your toes, heels lift. Exhale, lower the heels. Again, we lift the heels on the inhale. We exhale, lower the heels, and then lift your toes. And inhale, toes down, heels up, belly in. Exhale, heels down, toes up. One more time. Inhale, press into the toes and lift your heels. Exhale, lower the heels and lift your toes and pause. Now, palms can touch the sides of your hips or your thighs, whatever they touch. And then lift your right arm up by your head. Bending the elbow, touch the back of your head. Let your left hand slide down towards the outer knee as your body leans towards the left. Press down your right foot and breathe into the right side of your rib cage. Your right elbow is pointing up. And stay as you exhale. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Take another couple breaths here. Into the right side of your rib cage, your low back. Maybe the left hand slides down a little lower. And then return to center. And lower the right hand back down. 
Lift the left arm by the head. Bend the elbow, touch the back of your head. And keep your head moving back into your hand as you slide the right hand down towards the other knee and lift the left elbow up. Press strongly down your left foot. Inhale, breathe into the left side ribcage. And stay as you exhale fully. A couple more breaths here. The neck stays long the whole time. And we don't close the chest. We keep sending the head back into the hand. And with the next inhalation, we'll return to center and lower the left hand down. This time, both arms lift again on the inhale. We're going to bring the hands together into the chest as you exhale, hinge at the hips and fall forward. Release your hands down to your legs. Go as far down as you like. You may need to stay just halfway down, that's fine. And then take a deep breath in, chest reaches forward. As you exhale, bend your knees, relax your head down, and roll up your spine. On the inhale, circle the arms and reach up overhead. Bring your hands into the chest, hinge at the hips, and fall down as far down as you can, touching your legs. Reach your chest forward, inhale, shoulders roll back. Exhale, bend the knees, chin to chest, roll up. Inhale, circle the arms and reach high. Hands to the chest, hinging at the hips forward. Hands touch the legs lightly. Inhale, reach your chest forward. Exhale, bend the knees. Roll up. Inhale, circle arms, reach high. Exhale. Again, last time we hinge at the hips to full. Touch the legs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, chin towards chest, rounding the upper back, and then roll up. Inhale, circle right, reach high. Exhale, hands at the heart in the namaste gesture. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. And now from here, separate your feet a little bit wider than your hips. And then with the belly slightly drawn in, Move your hips around in circles, like you're making circles with your tailbone in the air. The knees are slightly bent, and you can go as wide as you like with your hips. If it feels good to let the arms move, the shoulders move, you can do that too. So really letting go of rigidity in the body, just letting the body move freely. Go the opposite way, same thing, the head moves freely, the shoulders, the arms, the hips. Free up the body. And we'll pause, back in center, stand tall. Now, we may need to be uh, close to the wall for support here. It's up to you. If you want a little bit of support, turn to a side so that the wall is on one of your side and you can have maybe just the finger touching the wall or your whole hand and then you're gonna lift the foot away from the wall off the floor doesn't matter which one starts first and circle at the ankle just free up your ankle joint a few circles in one direction and then the other way let your toes move freely and pause move your bring your foot down and then lift the other foot up. Move it around. Both ways, both directions. And then release. Now, staying with balancing pose, the foot away from the wall starts again. So bend that knee, point it away from the wall, and lift your foot up to your leg, either below your knee or above your knee. And then you're going to find balance here. And if a hand is touching the wall, is as light as possible, maybe just a fingertip. The other hand can touch the center of your chest. And you can also try the palms touching if you don't need the support of the wall. So this is street pose. We're just going to take a few breaths here, pointing the knee in the opposite direction from the wall. So away from the wall, 
gaze at a point that doesn't move and stay tall. One more breath in the tree pose, big shasana. And to come out of this pose, your knee can point forward again, lower the foot and release your arms. If you have the wall, turn the opposite way and do the same thing with the foot away from the wall. Bend the knee, turn it out, lift the foot either uh, to the shin or to your thigh, low belly in, chest up, a hand can touch the wall and the other hand can touch your chest or both palms together in front of your chest. And notice if you're tensing at the face, relax your mouth, relax your eyes. And don't hold the breath. The breath stays free at all times. Bhikshasana, tree pose, finding balance here as well as strengthening the standing leg. To come out, the knee points forward and we lower the foot back down. Now, we're coming into a variation of downward dog against the wall. So you're going to be facing the wall, place your hands just a little bit higher than your shoulders, step away from the wall so that your torso can lean forward and be almost to a 90 degree angle. If you can, 90 degrees, you walk your feet back as far as you need so your hips are on top of your ankles and the arms can be a little bit higher than the head, looking down so your neck can relax. Press your finger pit, uh, pads into the wall. Draw the low belly in and then send the hips far, far away from the shoulders. Breathing here, mindfully. Notice any sensation of stretch may feel in this shape. And notice if the sensation changes as you hold the shape and breathe. Inhalations create more space and with the exhalations we soften into that space. Just another breath here. Let the chest towards the floor and to come out, step your feet forward and lift yourself back up. Turn away from the wall and now here you can be about a foot away from the wall to begin. We're moving into some back bends to open the front of the body now. So the feet are parallel, spread your toes, press them down, draw the belly in and on the inhale lift your left arm up by the head. As you exhale, touch the wall behind you. Inhale, reach up to ceiling. Exhale, lower the hand down. Right arm, inhale, lift it up by the head. Exhale, touch the wall. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. If it was easy, step a little further forward. Inhale, lift your left arm up and all the way back to touch the wall. Exhale, lower it back down. Now the right, inhale, lift it up, belly in, chest up, touch the wall, exhale, lower it down. We're going to try both arms. Feel free to step forward if you need more challenge. Inhale, lifting both arms up, belly in, touch the wall lightly, and exhale up and down with the arms. Again, inhale, press down the feet, lift the arms and touch the wall. And exhale, lift up and lower the arms back down. Very nice. Interlace the hands behind the hips. Extend the arms and lift the chest. Nice stretch for the front of the shoulders, for the chest. One more breath here. And then release your hands. From here, we're coming into um, 
warrior two pose. So come onto your mat and step your right foot back. The left toes point to the front of the mat, the right heel is slightly out, and if you were to draw a line, left heel would intercept the arc in the right foot. Tone in the belly, inhale, arms lift shoulder height, exhale, bend the front knee. Now, maintain your shoulders on top of your hips and your arms in line with the shoulders as you look over your left hand. The neck is very long. And take a couple more breaths here in warrior two. Strong and empowered in the body. We turn the left palm up. Inhale, lift the arm and touch the right hand to the right leg for the reverse warrior pose. Keep bending the front knee as you breathe into the left side of your waist. And then extend your left leg, triangle pose. Reach your left hand far forward and down towards the floor. It doesn't have to touch. The palm faces away from the shin. The right hand is in your hip. Tone in the belly. Open your chest. If you can, look over your right shoulder. If that's too intense on the neck, look at the wall or down at the left foot. Another option is to extend the right arm up for the traditional expression of triangle pose, trikonasana. Firm your legs down. Feel your feet rooting down into the earth and take one more breath. Look down at the left foot. Firm the legs to come up. Arms wide. Inhale. Exhale. Lower the arms down. Now, turn your feet to be parallel, pointing to the sides of your mat. And actually, let's have the feet pointing to the wall, okay? So feet pointing to the wall, and then we can have the hands on the wall, just like downward dog, but with the legs wider. The hands are higher than the shoulders. Move your hips far back, your feet are parallel. Keep pressing strongly into your hands, press them into the wall strongly, and move your hips away from the shoulders. Send the inside of your thighs back and take one more breath here. Then mindfully lift your torso, hands away from the wall, bring your feet close together. Great, we're going to now face the other side of the mat so we can do the other side of the sequence. So now the right toes are pointing to the back of the mat and the left heel is pointing to the front of the mat. Right heel in line with the left arc, inhale, arms, shoulder height. Exhale, bend the right knee. Shoulders over hips. Arms strong and energized, reaching out in opposite directions. Head centered with the shoulders, above the ribcage, above the pelvis. Right knee over ankle. Breathing here, nice and strong. Reverse the warrior now by turning the right palm up. Arm lifts, left hand to the left leg. Breathe into the right side of your ribcage. Enjoy the stretch there. And then extend the right leg. Triangle pose, reach your right hand far forward and down. Left hand to the hip, open the chest, palm away from the shin. An option to extend the left arm up. Back of the neck stays long the whole time. Connected to the breath, we stay here, a couple more. Trikonasana, triangle pose. To come out, we first look at the right foot, firm the legs, come on up 
with the arms wide, inhale. Feet parallel, interlace the hands behind the hips, opposite from what you did before. So the weird clasping of the hands with the weird thumb on the outside, extend the arms and lift the chest. And now, hinge at the hips to lean forward as far as you can, comfortably. If you can, the top of the head releases to the floor, arms reach up to ceiling. Just one more breath here. Press down into the feet, reach the chest forward and come back up. Release the hands, walk the feet close together. Wonderful. From here, we're going to come to the knees on the floor. So you might want the a blanket to pad your knees. Take your time to come down and have also two blocks in the highest position. Highest position, blocks on the mat, stepping the right foot between the blocks. The blocks can be underneath the shoulders if you're going to maintain them here. Your hands slightly touch the block, square your pelvis forward. There's an option to bring the hands to the right leg. Remember to keep the low belly in. And the other option to extend the arms up by the head, lifting the chest, keeping the back of the neck long. Breathe here in this crescent lunge pose, opening the front of the left hip. And take one more breath. Bring your hands back down. Step this right foot back. Step your left foot forward. Same thing, hands can stay on the blocks, squaring the hips forward. Hands could be on the left leg, or we can reach the arms up, lift the chest, and breathe here. Feel the body opening. And take your final breath in this pose, in this asana, yoga posture. Release your hands down. Step your left foot back. Now, we're going to keep the blocks underneath the hands in the lowest position. So the hands are flat on the blocks. So we're going to be in the table position with the hands on the shoulders and the knees on the hips. And as you inhale, lift your chest and look forward. And on the exhale, contract the belly and round your spine. If you can, bring your chin to chest. Inhale, lifting up the chest, relax the shoulders. Exhale, squeeze the belly and draw your chin down. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, squeeze the belly, rounding the spine. Last time, inhale, lift the chest, opening the throat. Exhale, squeeze the belly to round. Come to neutral. And then take your blocks away away from the mat and come to lie down on your belly. So lie down on the belly. We're moving into a little uh, sequence here of cobra. Draw the elbows into the waist, draw the navel into spine and lift your chest up. Tops of the feet are on the floor. The little toes are moving towards the floor. If you can, lift your hands off the floor, keep squeezing the elbows into the waist, strengthening your back as you hold this cobra pose, take a deep breath in. Then turn your head to one side and rest everything down. Rest your hands, your feet, your arms, your legs, and observe the movement of your belly. The inhalations, press your belly into the wall. And at the exhale, 
exhalations, your belly softens away from the floor. I said wall, but I meant floor. <laughs> so as you breathe in, your belly, like a balloon, expands into the floor. And as you breathe out, it deflates, softens. Again, notice the movement in the belly. Let it soften. And we'll do this again, lifting the chest up. Now, you have the option of keeping your hands down, maybe lifting them up like before with the elbows into the waist, or the option to come into the Sphinx pose with the elbows right underneath the shoulders, the forearms parallel, fingertips pointing forward. Draw the belly in, lift the chest, and breathe here. Mindful not to jam the low back, so we're not collapsing. We keep the low belly in, the integrity in the spine, and we breathe in the posture of your choice. Whenever you need to come out and take a break, turn your head the other way and rest. If you are in swings and can stay a little longer, take a couple more breaths. Swings, it's a little easier to hold because we've got the support of the forearms as opposed to cobra, where we don't have any support, so it um, requires more strength. All right, so after your exhalation, turn your head the other way. Elbows open out and rest. Rest here and observe the belly moving. Nice, full breaths, unrushed. And from here, we're turning onto our backs. So just flip over. You can remove the blanket from the mat and with your head on the floor, hug your knees into chest. Rock a little bit from side to side on the back. Massaging your back muscles against floor and then pausing in the center. Let the back stretch here. We're going to do a little bit of core work, very simple. Take your hands onto your knees and on the inhalation, let the knees move forward. Let your feet lightly touch the floor so you engage your core and then exhale, hug the knees back in. Very simple. As you inhale, the knees move forward away from the belly. Your feet lightly touch the floor and exhale, bring them back. Two more times. Inhale, knees forward. Exhale, back. Last one, inhale. And exhale, back. From here, bring your feet down to the floor. We're preparing for bridge, arms by the waist. Inhale into the belly, let the low back arc just slightly, a little arc in the low back. And on the exhale, squeeze the low belly, send the low back into the floor. As you inhale, let the belly expand, let there be a little arc in the low back. Exhale, squeeze the belly. Inhale again, no need to force the arc, just let it happen, a little space under the low back. And on the exhale, as you squeeze your belly, no more space under your low back. Less time. Notice the pelvis tilting forward. And as you exhale, tilt it back. Now, neutral spine, just to notice what that feels like. And then press down the feet, we come into bridge. Lift the hips up. Walk the shoulders as close together as possible and interlace the hands under hips with the arms straight or have your palms facing up. Press down your feet. 
Notice if your knees are opening wide. Keep the knees over the ankles. Take another deep breath. And slowly lower the upper back down first, the hips down last, knees touch. Now, take one of your blocks, place the block between your thighs. Feet hip distance apart. We're gonna do the same thing, but now with the block. Pressing into the feet, lift the hips. Now squeeze the block as hard as you can, just to get the activation of the inner legs. Walk the shoulders close together, palms face up or interlace your hands. Squeeze the block, press down the feet and lift the hips higher. Squeeze the block one more time, lift the hips even higher. And then slowly release the hands, lower down the upper back first, the hips last. Take the block away and let the knees touch. Rest for a moment here. Then bring your right knee up into chest, straighten the left leg forward. Have your strap nearby, so you can grab your strap now and place it around the ball of the right foot, extending the right leg up. Hold the strap in a way that is not creating tension in the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Exhale fully. So as you inhale, the leg is nice and straight. And as you exhale, let the legs muscles soften without needing to bend the knee. Just let the muscles soften and feel the femur bone falling right into the pelvic socket. And another couple breaths here. Nice stretch for the back of the leg, the hamstrings. And then you can take both ends of the strap into uh, the left hand. The right leg is up, we take the strap into the left hand. Right arm reaches out to the side. Use the left hand to bring the leg across the body. Now, you may um, not want to twist much here, just Explore different angles. So perhaps the right hip stays on the floor. It's a great place to be. Just keep the right hip down away from the right shoulder without jamming or shortening the right side of the waist when you bring the leg across the body. You're welcome to go a little um, further down, meaning that the hip will come off the floor so explore the different angles and then decide where you would like to pause and take a few breaths. Relax the neck. Take a final exhalation here. And bring your leg back up. Bend the knee, hug it in. Lower your right foot down, extend both legs just to notice how they feel. Any differences between them, just observe. Then bring your left knee up, hug it in. Strap around the ball of the left foot, extending the left leg up. Stretching the leg, breathing more space into the left leg now. And exhale, softening into that space. Notice the femur bone anchoring down into the hip socket. Another couple breaths here. Stay with your breath and the sensations of your body. And when you finish the exhalation, keep the strap into the right hand only. Left arm extends out. 
we bring the leg across the body, left hip away from shoulder, the waist remains long on the left side. And you may like to explore different angles here, perhaps lifting the left hip off the floor. Just remember to maintain the waist long on the left side. Stay present with your breath as you free up the body. Breath is assisting this process of releasing tension, tightness from the body and bringing in more vitality. When you finish the next exhalation here, bring the leg back up, bend the knee, Letting go of the stretch now, hugging the knee. And then draw the right knee up as well. Both knees are up. Take the strap. Place the strap around the ball of the feet. Happy baby pose. So this option to uh, do it with the strap, it's nice for a change, even if you normally do it without the strap, but just give it a try. You're holding close to the feet. The knees are bending towards the armpits and the back of the pelvis stays on the floor. Anchor down through the sacrum. Then bring your chin into chest just slightly. Now can you rock a little bit from side to side? Rock it out. Massaging the back. And we'll return back to center. Extend both legs up with the strap still around your feet, just around the balls of the feet. And then from here, you can make little circles with your feet in the air. The little circles here, you will notice that the back of the pelvis presses into the floor in different ways, different parts press more depending on the angle of your legs. Great. Go both ways, right? Circles to one direction and then the other. Maybe three circles or four in each direction. And then we pause. We bend the knees, strap out. We'll prepare for final rest, Shavasana. I recommend using the props that we have to make yourselves more comfortable. So the blanket could be under the head. You don't need the strap and the blocks can be underneath the thighs just above the knees. If you have a little towel or a night pillow, it's a great um, idea to have them on so your eyes can relax. And then turn your palms to face up, let the shoulders roll back, back and away from the ears. And let your body rest. So it can integrate the work we've done. It can restore itself, renew itself with the rest. And every time you exhale, notice your body relaxing a bit more. Let your toes relax bottoms of your feet, tops of your feet, ankles, the shins and calves, knees, thighs, hips, both legs relax. 
pelvis, the belly, the big pubes, the chest, the whole back, upper back, middle back, lower back, and everything relaxes. The shoulders, the upper arms, the elbows, forearms, wrists, all the fingers, both hands and arms relax. The toes, the neck, chin, the whole mouth, cheeks, the ears, the eyes, the forehead, the temples, the top of the head, the back of the head, the whole head is relaxed. And stay here for as long as you can, relaxing, replenishing your energy, savoring your breath, Namaste.